G'day guys, my name's Joel Savage and I'm here to tell you about the birth of my second child, Kobe Savage. Things are going pretty great. Um, you know, we'd gone most of the way through the birthing process. Uh, successfully, uh, Tamara had given birth to Kobe and she was doing pretty well. Hey, then she was lying there complaining of some pain in her tummy area. Um, and she'd have, had a baby before, so, you know, this is a little bit different to what she had normally felt. Anyway, you know, the nurses have sort of said, yeah, everything's okay, you know, it's all normal. The cervix is dilating and all that, uh, all that sort of stuff, or going back to normal. And, um, you know, after a period of time, you know, she's saying, no, this is really hurting, seriously. Um, it turns out that there was issues with the uh, uh, placenta when they removed that. And, um, yeah, so she, she got up uh, to head towards the toilet because she was feeling a little bit woozy. Anyway, um, we were confronted with this massive pooling of blood on the ground. Um, she's walking towards the toilet. There's this trail of blood following her. Um, you know, she's, she's there. She sits on the toilet and then she's lost three litres of blood in that whole process. So she's absolutely flat out, um, passed out. Within, uh, honestly, about two seconds, the medical staff were just smashing into that room. Um, you know, alarm bells were going off. Uh, I had my young new son, Kobe, in my arms. And uh, pretty much that's the last uh, time that anybody was to look at Kobe, except for myself, for the next five hours. Because uh, all the medical staff were really just interested in saving Tamara's life. Um, you know, so that was the day I, I nearly lost my wife. Um, three litres of blood uh, is, is a lot to lose. I think she ended up with uh, five units of blood uh, replaced. Um, it was due to a postpartum hemorrhage. Um, so basically a part of the placenta was still uh, left inside and uh, prevented the body from actually um, you know, going back to normal and, and stopping the bleeding. So um, the worst part for me on that day was honestly um, uh, the vision of the blood all over the ground and I was stuck in that room on my own for some time and they didn't come and clean it up or anything you know, for at least a few hours. And it was just me and my son, and we didn't know if mum was going to be there. So, um, really quite a scary day. Um, and uh, glad that luckily my wife made it through. She took about six months to recover completely from the blood loss, but uh, thank God she is all right now, and we live a happy life together. Thanks very much for listening.